Willette and, and uh, you know, I got to use it for business, but I got in the street. They gave me a one-time credit on all the overages because of what good. happened. So they were very nice about it. That's good. Yeah. And we called, like, as soon as we started getting messages that we were about to go over, we tried to straighten it out, but right. it's not easy to do. AT&T is mine, so it's a pet Everyone in the area, no overcharges. Oh, that's, see, that's super nice. That was good. Yeah. Well, Verizon fixed it, but they required the hour-long phone call. Here we are, it's Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. Just about exactly a month after our big flood. Yeah. We're meeting here at the Clarifier Project today to kind of button it up for the season and to remove debris. And Kirk Vincent determined, he's a river geologist, he helped us determine what the high watermark is. And we are going to create a tile and put it on the surface next year to commemorate this monumental event. And our clarifier, we're happy to say, is a magnificent survivor. Here is a pile of debris. This is on the south side where the river water washed up against the clarifier, washed away our path. You can see uh, the town off in the distance has a big job. The river flowed all the way up to here, jumped its bank, took out the river path, and they're just working very hard to try to restore the river to its pre-flood path and do the incredible cleanup job. You can see our bridge off in the distance there. The river came way up east here of its normal banks, exposing a couple very interesting, um, very interesting cement structures. We're not quite sure what they were. It belonged to the original plant, and we're just so pleased that the, especially the west facing side of the clarifier, which was the most vulnerable to floating debris, you know, propane tanks, cars, uprooted trees, um, appeared to be perfectly fine and not suffer any damage at all. We're, we're very thankful. And now I'm going around to the, there's our sun, to the north side where the river came right up, right up here and washed washed away our path, left this debris. But apparently it's not caused any damage that we can find so far to anything on the clarifier. Our stash of supplies and tools and equipment seems to be perfectly fine and untouched. Stella and Ellen and Kirk are trying to dismantle the scaffolding, which got twisted in the flood and apparently caught, also caught a bunch of debris. And here's suddenly right by my feet, I should watch out, it um, drops a couple feet. And then right there, it goes down a few feet more, maybe five feet or more total at that lowest spot. And then it goes up again. Um, there's still a checkpoint in Lyons where you have to show a pass to get in. Because uh, many people are still not able to live in their homes since this uh, flood event happened. Some electricity is restored, but at this point there is no water or sewer, and many people in town still don't have electricity. So, was this all sand a lot of 
lot of sand around here or just deposited sand? Deposited sand. All the sand is fresh. Fresh deposited. But of oh. course underneath was always sand and gravel. Uh-huh. And I'll um took all of our uh gravel that we put down. Yeah, the crushed sand. And here you can see like you get any new one, new stuff. Where the river washed away the ground just oh, under our north tree. And then Kirk just measured eight feet from the top of the rim. This is the high water mark. And we are going to make a tile that will um, be installed somewhere on this side or somewhere nearby to commemorate that. Well, you know, Here it is. It's a uh, lived through this event, and well, next year we'll be up and running again, and we'll be excited to work on our night sky and start thinking about our landscaping. Good thing we didn't do that before this year. I don't know. It's a pile of debris that washed up against the scaffolding. There's our shed and our tools and our stash pile of mosaic materials that was completely undisturbed. And it's so glorious that the grass is unbelievably green for this time of year. Sound of heavy machinery, people working, trying to put our town and our river in our lives all back together. Hope to see you next year.